We're going shopping again, and today we're going to Ikea. I actually have Zach with me today. <laughs> I have been feeling a little more inspired ever since I have done, I did a home goods shop with me, I did a world market, and I was just thinking, I haven't been to Ikea in so long. The last time we were here, we came back to get the baskets for the light fixtures, but we went straight to the basket lights. Like we didn't stop and look at anything. We went straight, got the baskets and then left. So I'm excited to see what's new, what things I haven't seen before at Ikea. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Back when we first got married, I mean, this is what we decorated our whole house with. We, it was an affordable way for us to furnish our home. So Ikea will always have a little special spot in my heart. So. You want to go? Let's go. Let's go shopping. Right off the bat, I spotted this chair. This would be so nice for a back patio space. Let's see. Is this $50? No, this chair is not $50. It's $219. I was like, there's no way. That's really cute. I like that. A couple other things in this little area, these like velvet pillows, 20 by 20, these are actually really nice. $17.99, it's kind of like this chocolate brown. Those are beautiful. And then they have these little baskets too, which I thought, you guys know, I love baskets. I love adding in that texture. Really pretty. Ooh, those are nice too up there. I like those. And then I also noticed this little glass, like bowl tray. I like that too. These little terracotta pots are actually very cute. I like those. Seven dollars. Or are they 12? No, I think they're seven. They're like that light terracotta. So they're not like super orangey and like deep. They're kind of like that lighter terracotta tone. I just walked through all of the sofas. None of them really totally capture my attention. This one's actually kind of cute. It's kind of definitely more of that like lived in casual, but I will be honest, I'm not like super obsessed with any of the, the sofas, except for this one. This one's actually pretty cute. Same with the coffee tables and like side tables. I just think you could find something secondhand for about the same price that's gonna last you a lot longer, just in my opinion. However, I do kind of like this ottoman over here. I feel like that's kind of pricey. I like this ottoman. It's kind of like, it's not tweed, but it's kind of giving that kind of tweed feeling. Actually, I really like this. I think that's super, super handsome. It also comes in this like green velvet. It might have more colors as well, but this is just what they have out. So even though I didn't like love the sofas or love the couches, the ottomans, I feel like that's a win. Another really nice ottoman is this one right here. This looks really nice. Just like a solid gray. I do really like this um, vase right here. Let's see how much is this i'm not sure the price on this i'll look for the price but it definitely gives that like old apothecary jar vase vibe i really really like that a lot My favorite thing about Ikea, especially if you're like newer to design, is going into the little like showroom spaces. It really allows you to like see how they use things or you might like see an idea that you really like. Actually, this little vase is cute. It's a really great little bedside table vase for $7.99. Very cute. I love this little light right here. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I like that, $23.99. That's really cute. This is another beautiful little piece, is this little throw blanket. I like that. This little vase is also really pretty. That ceramic, $15.99 with like the rib. Really, really pretty, I like that. 
Okay, again with the furniture, I really do think that if you went to an antique store or secondhand store, you can find a way higher quality piece. But I do like the shape of, for the same price is what I was gonna say, but I like this piece here. It has a lot of detail to me for an Ikea piece with like the brass little piece here. And then like even the, the detail of right here in the glass. I do really like that, but again, I personally would try to find something secondhand, but this is cute. It really is cute. This would be a really, really beautiful bar cabinet. These little jars are so cute. I have a lot of these that I've got off of Amazon, but I think these are really pretty as cute. I like the white rubber. A lot of mine have orange, but these are just very, very aesthetic. I like those. This little lamp right here, I feel like is a good way to add in that like very kind of modern contemporary vibe for a really good price. This is $54.99. And I've seen very similar things like this going around. So I feel like this is a really affordable way to play with that trend without breaking the bank. I already showed you guys this vase here for $7.99, but look at this one. I feel like this is really, really cute. $9.99. That's really cute. Almost like the croc style that I just love with the little handles. Okay, Ikea. Okay. Cute. Okay, I really like this ripped one. That's really cute. How much is this? I think it's $6.99 or is it on sale for no $6.99 pretty I like that I do feel like this little butcher block kind of small island could be really really great for a small space you could put some baskets in there you could even like paint it if you wanted to and leave this raw wood this could be a really really great piece for a small space how much is it? $89.99. There's those baskets again. Remember the baskets I showed you guys at World Market? They have them here too. I don't know how much they are here. Let's see if I can figure that out. I like these so much. I love them for a pantry, for a bathroom. I think these are just absolutely beautiful. They give a little bit more of that like cottage kind of vibe. I like these. I like these a lot, a lot, a lot. You can see them here in this cabinet, just how pretty they look. Yeah, those are good. Does this one have a price? Those are really good. This is my favorite part of Ikea shopping is down here at the little market, but Zach found these little baskets. <laughs> I thought at first they were cheesy, but if you had a dinner party and let's say you're doing burgers or fries or tots or something. That would be so like cute. Six of these, it'd be you know, like yeah. some restaurants do that. Yeah, like if you had some burger joints, but that'd be cool. I think that would be so cute. And how much are these? Four seventy nine. Just to like, not even up... to use it as a no, as like as put their fries. Fryer, but yeah, yeah. You put this side of fries. I got what you were saying. Yeah, I think that's cute. I feel like it just like helps with the whole experience. Even little things like this, like putting your ketchup in these, really helps just elevate your experience. Even if it's just for yourself, we do that stuff for ourselves yeah. all the time. But yeah, that's a good idea. I didn't even think of that. Ooh, a pizza crisper. Are you gonna get that? I don't need it. We this is this is what catches me here. But like, look at these little ramekins. These are so cute. And like this little like tart dish. That's actually a huge tart. Okay. Side conversation. 
I used to be all about the crust, the thick crust, or whatever growing up. Now, in like, someone would order like thin crust or, you know, almost like a cracker crust. I'm like, who? Yeah, I that? love a cracker crust. No, but now, I, I, the thinner the better. I almost like it like, crunch, not crunchy, but you know, crackery. Yeah, I do too. Let Just us know, how crust. do you prefer your pizza if you eat pizza? But I totally cracker switch, crust. So this like interests me. Get it. I like that crisp. I know. I'm not a, you have that trick like that you do. I like the end of the dough, but I, I, I just, I don't like the pillowy yeah. dough anymore. I know. You've totally you, switched you're, cracker. You've always been a cracker. Yeah. I love, or what's the other one that's like, kind of like bubbly and like, it has like burnt, like the, you know how like it has like, it's kind of bubbly on the crust or on I the. I know what you're talking about. Is it oh, what's not it Neapolitan? Called? Neapolitan. That's what is it is. It that? Yes. Yeah. yeah I but like that. It's just funny. Back in the day, I was like, who likes thin? crust like who orders that me i'm that person now you're that person totally I'll probably, I'll probably do it. don't get it i really like these we don't have any room for these but i think these are really cute and this and they're nice and thick cute Ooh, these are like nice little kind of like aesthetically pleasing for handle pastry. yeah like this little dough cutter that's tiny this little piece here cute I also really like these. I feel like these look very traditional. Really, really pretty. Okay, I did want to check these glasses out because I've seen them on TikTok. You get a four pack for $23. Honestly, they feel kind of shit, but they kind of are. But they're just more glass, they're not crystal. Yeah. But they are pretty. I think they'd make a really pretty little cocktail glass. Will you get that one down, babe? That's kind of cute too. Very different. They're glass, they're not crystal. It's funny about the glass and crystal. I never really knew the difference, but now that you have some nicer stuff. You can, it's, yeah. It's like night and day or like, there is a big difference. Yeah, and you can find crystal for like the same price at Home Goods. So it's not always that it's more expensive, but the quality difference is just insanely yeah. different. I actually do really like this piece here for another like layer of texture on the bed this one's 22 dollars. that's a really really great price i was trying to find muslin that's big enough for a bed Ooh, i like this one too i do like that i'm having a really hard time i find it a lot in like baby blankets and stuff but like full i did find some throws i'm gonna order one but like a full size or queen size having a really hard time i do like that one back there though I like this. If you wanted to play around with some different prints, this is really pretty. $79.99. They actually have quite a bit of bedding, which they always have. This is really pretty too. I am super into prints right now. I just, I don't know what it is about them, but I love them. And so I spotted this like gray stripe and then this like gray floral, which I think is pretty, even like the gray charcoal. I do like a charcoal, but these two together, I think are really pretty. I'd want to mix in some other textures, maybe some linen, some muslin, you know, because these are going to be so similar, but really pretty. I like those a lot actually. If you had like a wood headboard, I think adding in like this sort of like, it's not even like a true, well, maybe. Kind of seems like it's like an off-white, kind of like warmer gray. This one's more of a cool gray, but this would be so pretty. I'll put a picture of what I'm thinking. Pretty. This waffle, what's this called? Robe is really pretty. It's a very pretty like beigey tone for $27.99. I like this. For the pillow covers, I like these with the little tie back, just that extra little detail. Also this, you guys told me what this is called and now I can't remember now that we're here. A border maybe? Really pretty, like the linen. I've got, I had these before actually, now that I'm thinking about it. And then their velvet's actually really cute as well, but they have a ton of colors. I'm sure you guys know of this, but since we're here and just sharing again, they have so many different prints and colors. And a lot of this stuff has been here for a long time. I haven't been here in so long and it's still here. So that's actually kind of nice to know that you can replace things if you need to. I also really love the buttons on this one. 
That's really cute. How much is this? $6.49 on sale. Curtains was always somewhere I went to Ikea. Either that or I did drop cloths, just like painters drop cloths from the hardware store. But I found that their curtains back in the day, I don't know if it's still the case, were like you could get, you could get really long ones for a really good price. And then they also have, you know, like the linens and all the different like textures. Rugs is something I really wanted to check out here. That was like one of the main reasons why I wanted to come here. I will say they do have some really nice jute options for a really good price. They are thinner than some of the other ones that I found on Amazon. However, they are less expensive. So I'm gonna look through the rugs. I've never really like fully looked through the rugs before. So I'm gonna take a look and see what else I find. This rug is actually very good. It's a little bit more pricey than the rest of them, but I can see why. It looks hand woven, 229. That's really, really, really cute. It actually looks like a really long runner. I really do like their jute. This one's 54.99. Like I said, it is thinner, but jute is really durable. And it seems like they have pretty affordable prices here for their jute. This one is especially nice. It has like these blue flecks in there that I think could be fun in a certain space with the jute. I haven't seen anything like that, but I especially love this one here. It's $89.99 for a five by seven, but it has like kind of like these holes in there. And I feel like this would be really cool for outside, but I like that the weave is a lot bigger. See, so you can like poke your holes, your finger through the hole. I just think this is, I don't know, I really like that texture. Nothing like anything I've ever seen. That's really cool. Outdoor especially, that'd be really, really pretty. I still love that one. I love it a lot. I can't find it though. Oh, maybe it's this folded up. It is this folded up, okay. It's a five by seven, so it's not a runner, which is actually really nice because you could put this in like a bathroom space or really anywhere. A five by seven's a little small for like the spaces we have. I like this rug a lot. Found the baskets. They only come in one size it looks like for $12.99. I like these, you guys, $12.99. I don't have anywhere to put them, but I just, I still love them. Also love these little seagrass baskets for the bathroom as well. These are also $12.99, so the other ones are a little bit bigger, but seagrass is special because it feels like really luxe. I like those too. These are the basket lights that we have in our kitchen. If you guys saw, I, I, I think I did a spring like kitchen spruce where I took these out and then came back and bought them again. I really like these. I think for the price as well, they did go up in price, but I feel like it gives a little bit of that like Tulum kind of vacation vibe with like very little money. You could also get the piece where it has like the bulb and then the outlet and kind of put them anywhere you want. I spy Zach. This mirror up here, I think could be kind of cool. $55.99, kind of like that. Or these big round mirrors, I feel like are a good price, $80 each for a bathroom. Well, actually those ones are, the one on the right is $99.99, and then this one here on the left is $79.99, but this one looks a lot thicker. Okay, these baskets are kind of cute. Definitely a big woven or wide woven loose woven however you say that but these are kind of cute i always like to look at the plants i've actually purchased a few plants from ikea right now we've been traveling a little bit more often so we're not really keeping them alive very well but i think ikea is a really great place to go to for your live plants they usually have like really popular plants but also i still really like these terracotta like i said they're like the lighter i just would hope that they would patina they have little bonsai trees. And then also they have the birds of paradise right here. Oh, I love this plant so much, but it does not love to be out on our back patio at all. It gets really mad. This is really cute actually for a little decorative object, $11.99. I like the shape of this. I think that's just 
different. That's really pretty. And then they also have like these cloche domes. Cute. This is actually really cute too. That could be even used as a wastebasket, but I like this one. This one looks a little bit more, like it has more flexibility, which I think sometimes can make things look a little bit more luxe. All right, we just finished up at Ikea. We actually didn't get anything, so that's why I'm gonna end the vlog here in the car. That was fun. Wasn't that kind of fun? I'm just noticing your hair looks totally like Fair Fawcett, like oh. 70s. Doesn't it kind of the curls? <laughs> I guess, kind of. Maybe yeah. not, I don't know. <laughs> I'll take fair faucet. Anyway, we just finished up and it was really fun to just go back and kind of walk through. It's been a long time. I saw a lot of things that have been there for many years, but then I also saw some things that were new. I saw some things that I thought were pretty good quality, like that one rug that I was kind of in love with. Love that. If I had a space for it for that size, I think I would have brought that home, but I don't have any space for a five by seven. I thought it was a really great rug. I don't know about durability or anything like that. Now for the furniture, going back, especially after I have really, I think it's a really great place to go if you are someone, like you wanna redecorate a room like on a really tight budget. However, I do think that you can find secondhand pieces for the same price that are gonna be much better quality. But Ikea is, it's just a place to go to like really add a little bit of that more like simplicity kind of vibes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you're enjoying these shop with me's. It's been a lot of fun because I'm going back to some stores that I haven't been to in a really long time. So that's been super fun for me. Let me know what was your favorite that I shared in this Ikea video and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together